Hey, 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 scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with the third and final birthday spread in my California Love album. This is another spread with pocket pages, a six by eight, and then a little three by four double three by four insert. We had a lot of photos from this fun axe throwing adventure. My nephew turned 21 while we were there. So we went axe throwing and then out to dinner afterwards. And actually, so I was a little skeptical about the axe throwing. I was like, okay, we can do that. That's weird, but sure. But it was super duper fun, so much so that when um, I came home, I scheduled an axe throwing adventure with our friend group and had a lot of fun doing that as well. So I had all of these little photos of um, everybody, I think almost everybody, hit a bullseye while we were axe throwing. So I wanted to make a little um, composite of everyone who was throwing axes. I didn't get everyone in there, but um, I chose the best photos and made a little collage with all of them. And then um, I have a bunch of individual photos as well. This is the first time my sister and I threw together. <laughs> and let me tell you, it was not, I mean, everyone had an easier time than I did. That's for sure. I did not get a bullseye until almost the very end, which is kind of why I have those dueling photos on the right there of me with a ax very, very close to the bullseye. I thought I would take a photo um, that way because it felt like that was the closest I was going to get. And then I followed it up with an actual bullseye photo. Um, so I told the story of how I couldn't get a bullseye. <laughs> And so those photos needed to be part of the spread because they're amusing. So the journaling is actually on the back of that red card. So that's why there's a um, journaling card missing there, but it's there. I just don't need to, <laughs> I have them both together, so I can't really show both at the same time. I wanted to use this. It's all good. It's a little bit large for this card, but I made it work because uh, it was the appropriate sentiment for that photo, and I honestly didn't know where I would use it again, so <laughs> it had to go or it wasn't going to get used. I've been trying to incorporate this our, Love Our Day Together forever. I finally got it on the spread. I'm hitting, this is the third to last, or yeah, I think there's, there's only two spreads after this, so I'm hitting the end of both my kit and my mojo for this album. I know I've talked about that before. Once I get towards the end of any a project, I sort of start losing steam as the products dwindle and my desire to look at the photos dwindle. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at right now. This is more of a sort of a simple page for me. I wanted this true story underneath I'm sexy and I throw it because it was funny. So I made that centered in between my sister and I. I'm going to add in some arrows to this page. Um, uh, duh, I need to point at the bullseye, so that's what I'm trying to do here without covering myself up too much. It doesn't really matter if I'm too, like, if I cover my legs up a little bit, but it gives me a little bit of hives. Just a few hives if I cover up people's body parts on photos, so I was trying not to. I'm making my birthday card like I have for the past two birthdays, so this one's going to match the other two. Um continuing that theme throughout. I'm going to sprinkle around these star stickers like confetti, just like I did on the very first card. And I add in the hearts as well and decide that it's just too much. It does not look good. Uh, it just looks like a sticker sneeze from way back when. So I'm gonna pull the hearts off and I'm gonna add in some of those puffy circles from the arrow sticker sheets that came with the collections as well, just like I did on the first one because I think it added, I mean, I think it was just the two different shapes that were conflicting that made it look a little bit cluttered to me. Circles don't feel like a conflicting shape the way that the, the hearts and the stars did. So I'm gonna leave the stars on and with the circles and I'm gonna take the hearts off. Just trying to use up some of the stickers that I don't normally use from the sticker sheets. I don't normally use a lot of the, the little basic icons on some of these sticker sheets. So I'm just trying to use them up so that they don't get uh, forever cycled into my stash and missing forever. <laughs> okay, so I've got that card done. I'm going to start finishing up some of these other cards. I want to add in some journaling to this page. So I'm going to 
First, I'm going to add this tab just because I felt like I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know why. Just because it was a good decoration. The map has nothing to do with anything, but who cares, right? I'm going to add in some of these rub-ons. I like this little arrow. Of course, I keep forgetting that they're just not going to show up on dark photos. Like, duh. So you can see it, but you have to look for it. Rub-ons sometimes are my nemesis when it comes to visibility. I'm going to add this one, too, to make sure that we've got a few different arrows going on. And I like the way it kind of frames it like a photo corner. Local getaway. We are actually in my hometown for this, so I thought that that was an appropriate rub-on. I'm going to make a little, like, title cluster down there in the bottom of that card with that local getaway plus this rub-on, this camera rub-on. Also, it brought in some dark, like, blue down there, which I thought really gave it some balance, too. I'm always looking to create balance on my layouts, visually. I don't know why I bother with this. <laughs> uh, I need to learn my lesson with these clear stickers and just always put them on white or create lots and lots of white space in which to put them, on which to put them when I take my photos. But nope, I never learn. Some journaling, no, not journaling, word bits, because I love my words. I like the way that that awesome sticker really added, it feel, this feels like it shouldn't, but it really added a lot to that card up there. And I, I like the way it kind of grounds it too. I wrote so close here. I was going to put it under here and it made more sense under there, but I couldn't make it work. Like it didn't want to fit. So I'm going to actually snip off the bottom of this circle. So that has a flat edge instead of a circular edge. And then I'm going to take one of the patterned washi strips from one of the sticker sheets and I'm going to create like a little, little banner kind of thing, which works so close. <laughs> now I need to add in some journaling spots on that green card. First, I'm going to find a place for this sticker. <laughs> Felt like I needed yet another sticker here. There's a lot of ugly space in these photos because honestly the environment itself just wasn't very pretty. So I'm kind of covering things up as I go along. <laughs> so I'm going to use these or labels from one of the sticker sheets as my journaling spot. Created a rainbow of journaling strips. This of course has to go underneath the tab. There's journaling on the other side of that card, of course, but I wanted like a little secondary story, so that's why that's going there. And I need something above the journaling strips too, so I'm kind of looking around, trying to figure out what I need there. We're gonna put this little strip, or this little chipboard, go see do, and that works. That is about it for this video. I need to add in my journaling and call it good. So if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.